So in order to get started with MongoDB, I'm going to show you a way, but um, once you install it, you want to open two terminal windows. The first terminal window will contain the daemon or the server, the MongoDB server, which you start with MongoD. Once you start the server, you will see a little message that says waiting for connections on port 27017. Then you're ready to use MongoDB. You can go into your other terminal and type Mongo, and you will be in the interactive shell of MongoDB. You can also see stuff going in here, happening here. Now, when you're there, it's an interactive shell, so you can say, for example, db.admin command host info colon one, and then you get information about your host environment, right? You can do a lot of things with the database at this point or you can simply quit. Now, I am in a folder here, and you can see all the activity here. I am in a folder here that contains a, a file called uh, dataset, which is a whole database that I'm going to import into MongoDB. Okay, so if I list the contents here, everything starting with D, you'll see that I have a dataset.json. I'm going to import this. It's it's a it's a whole uh, set of records, a whole set of documents that I'm going to import, and it's restaurant reviews. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to use how to see these restaurant reviews. So the way that I'm gonna um, that I'm gonna use to import this is with a command called mongodb import. Okay. Oops. And the way the way you use it is this. You you type in mongo import minus minus db, and then you tell it which d database you're going to import this in. I'm going to use the database test, which is the first database you log into when you log in there. Then minus minus collection, basically the table, right? What's going to be the, my table name? In this case, is restaurants. Then you say minus minus drop, meaning if the database exists there, drop it. And then the file that I'm going to use is this dataset.json. This continues on the other line. Let me try and put this in all in one line here. See if that works. Dataset JSON, right? And then I put here, I put the port that I'm connecting to and the host. This is this is a good practice you can omit this and if you can omit this information and if it works it's great but if it doesn't work just add the information of the port and host okay and then just hit enter this is importing all the records and as you can see some activity was going on here okay now to verify that we've imported the records we go into the shell of mongo okay and then as you can see it's connecting to the database test by default and then you can see db dot restaurants and you type in find and you should have a bunch of records come out right and each record you can see for example this record has an id element with an object id that an address which is comprised of a building a coordinates street and so on and so forth not all records are the same which is one of the beauties of um of NoSQL databases. Now we have our database. In the following videos, we're going to see how to work with creating, I mean, uh, viewing, selecting, inserting, updating, and removing records from this database.